Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn of The Evelyn Inc. And I am back with another video. And I think I mentioned before that I'm going to kind of rebrand or rename our, my curated versus collected video series back to a series that I did years ago called Finding Your Flavor. And the reason, like the whole premise of Finding Your Flavor is kind of based off of this quote that I heard um, Bishop Jakes say years ago. And he said, every blessing in your life needs a system. And I have just never forgot about it. Like if you wanna maintain it, something that is a blessing to you, you need a system to maintain it, right? So if you have a car and you want that car to run, you need a system of maintenance to maintaining it. If you have a house and you want to keep it clean and it's a blessing, you need a system to maintain that house. And like, I'll give you um, a perfect example. So let's talk about my skin, right? I like, I'm not gonna act like I don't have smooth skin. You know what I'm saying? Your girl, your girl got smooth skin. A little bit of that is hereditary, but most of it is about my skincare system. I think what's so interesting about particularly the beauty community on YouTube. I don't necessarily consider myself the beauty community on YouTube because I don't really do hair videos anymore. But when I think about this whole idea of success needs a system is that about seven years ago, I just decided I wanted to have really, really clear, smooth, soft skin. I just wanted to have healthy skin, particularly on my face and on my neck, right? Like I'm working on the body. My body, my face is oily, but my body has a tendency to be dry. Anyway, and a lot of times people are like, you know, when I tell them how old I am, like they think I'm in my 20s and y'all know I'm in my 30s, okay? Um, and they think I'm like in my middle 20s, like 25, 26, 27. I'd be like, you're so sweet, okay? This is not about that. What it's about is a lot of times people think it's the product or they think I've done something crazy. And the reality is, is I just created a system for my skin so seven years ago 2013 and I've always been pretty good about taking care of my skin but seven years ago I decided that no matter what I would never ever 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 sleep in my makeup it didn't matter I don't care what time I got home how late it was I don't care if I fell asleep in a nap and then I woke up I would not sleep in my makeup so whether I had to take it off at eight o'clock at night six in the evening or three, four in the morning that I would not sleep in my makeup. And um, for seven years, I have not slept in my makeup to the point that I, if, if I'm laying down and there's makeup on my face, I almost can't get comfortable, right? And so, you know, a lot of times people are like, well, what products do you use? And here's the thing, the products change all the time. I Over the years, you know, it's kind of what I'm feeling at the moment, but my process hasn't changed because I have a system, which is I, cleanse I tone I moisturize and occasionally I do a mask that's it sometimes there's a serum sometimes the mask change sometimes the the cleanser changes sometimes the exfoliation changes whatever the case may be but in general on a day-to-day -day basis I cleanse I tone and I moisturize and I do it twice a day I do you know before I go to bed take my makeup off or even if I didn't wear makeup that day and then you know in the morning with the shower and all that right so it's, it's the system that has gotten me the result, not a special product, not because my skin is particularly special, right? There's other people in my family who don't take care of their skin. And, you know, they say black don't crack. And I'm like, mm, not 100% true. Black that you take care of doesn't crack. But if you don't take care of the black, it's going to crack. We've seen it, okay? So I use that example to say that success needs a system. And that's pretty much what find your flavor is. Find your flavor is like my step-by-step -step system for creating your own recipe for success in every area of your life about being really really intentional and that's why you know I've created the find your flavor course that's why I've created the society um, that I talked about bringing a community together because I also think you know as we grow and we evolve and new things come into our life new blessings come into our life those things need systems or over time as circumstances need to change the system needs to change and sometimes when you are on an island and you're doing it by yourself and you don't have other people doing it with you or encourage you to stay on top of that it can feel very lonely um and you can feel very isolated in that area and so whether it's your faith whether it's your friendships your relationships your family your 
health, your business, your womanhood, your home, your personal style, your hair, your makeup, your nails, whatever, the way you think about yourself, your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your communication skills, whatever, you need a system to be successful in that area. Um, So I'm really excited because I've been holding this in for years because I was like, you know, am I too deep? You know, do people really want that? And I think the belief is that it's got to be like military style regimented. And that's not really the case. It's more so about consistency. If you do something five out of seven times, it's better than doing it zero out of seven times. If you do something four out of seven times, it's better than doing it zero out of seven times, right? But, and it doesn't have to be this major thing. Yes, if I was trying to have a 15 step facial routine, that is not something for me personally, I would be able to um, execute in its entirety every day. But I have a three-step beauty routine on a day-to-day basis. I have a 45-step routine that I do about once a week, right? That's it. It's nothing crazy. And so all the same is true with other areas of my life. And when I find areas in my life that I'm not getting the kind of results that I would like or um, I'm ready to make a change, usually I can either see a breakdown in the system or a lack of a system. Um, And so we're going to be talking more about that. But if you are like, you know what, Evelyn, I think you're right. I really do need to have my own custom, unique system for different areas of my life Then I would invite you to take Find Your Flavor. I've been I've been working on it for a long time. I think, you know, I had to decide that I wanted to help in that way and that there are women just like me. You know, I've been doing these videos with God's Design, aka Patricia, um, and we both are very into intentional living. And, and, and my particular spin on that is that success in any area of your life needs a system. That that quote from Bishop T.D. Jakes that he said years ago, and it wasn't even like the focus of a sermon. It, it was something he said in passing, and I was like, Anything that you want to do consistently and do well and maintain needs a system. I have a, I finally have a system for this channel, which is why you've seen the increase in the productivity in your business. You need a system for marketing. You need a system for payments. You need a system for executing whatever your product or service is. I have a system for growing my hair. I have a system for developing as a woman. I have a, I have a system for maintaining my faith and my spirituality. I have, I have a system for my relationships. Not all of them are perfect. And yes, they need tweaking over time. And I need community and accountability, um, which is what's going to come right behind Find Your Flavor. So like like I said, I created the course, but then I also have created a, a, a community where we can do this together continuously um, in even areas that we didn't even think about, right? So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I hope you are too. Let me know. Have you ever thought about the fact that every area of your life needs some kind of system? Um, Like, think about this. You have systems in your life, even though you don't know it, whether it's a morning routine or evening routine. It could be as simple as when I brush my teeth, I brush, I floss. And if you're a mouthwash user, I do mouthwash, right? Some people air pick, some people oil pool, but they have a system on how to maintain their oral health. And it's, it's not this over the top I do 25 things and I, I got to do it for five hours. It's a small system that's done consistently that produces consistent results and maintains the success that you've had. So that's it, y'all. Um, that's it for today. Just, you know, one is to say the curated versus collected um, is transitioning back into or reintroducing find your flavor if you're new here it's the same premise about curating your life versus collecting like finding your flavor that's curating it but then also putting a system in place to maintain that once you've curated because i realized if you don't have a system you will start to drift or you will pick up other people's systems and they may not work for you which is why i think that one size fits all self-care or one size fits all business strategies or one size fits all hair care routines or one size fits all makeup tutorials or whatever they don't work because they have to be curated for you and then you have to put your own system in place and there's no judgment if my system is different than yours or your system is different than mine or somebody else's but it's curated for your life your needs your wants where you want to go what works for you your time your schedule all of that so 
make sure you check out Find Your Flavor. If you find that it will be of use to you, of value to you, then I encourage you to enroll um, because graduates of Find Your Flavor are will be invited into the community. So with that being said, that's all I have for today. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at the Evelyn Inc. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.